<laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> YouTubers, shortwave listeners, ham radio operators, ladies and gentlemen, friends and followers, or people <laughs> who just accidentally took the wrong exit. <laughs> got stuck by my channel. <laughs> this is your friend, Uncle <laughs> Günther, DK5 OND, and he was waiting till the midnight hour. But, listen to this. Wow. And it's not raining, it's not raining at the moment. So, Preamp on, the QRM is 20 over 9. And I take it off. It's around as yeah, 5 dB over S9, 10 dB over S9. If I completely knock it down, it's down to, yeah, it's bouncing somewhere around between an S5 and an S7. Wow. And it is like that. Can you see me? I don't know. And it is like that on all the bands. On 160, tremendous. As well as on 80. On 40, it is not, not that high noise. About an S5 or something I could hear. I could hear nine hotel one tango tango or nine hotel one Charlie tango the island of Malta I could hear some Scotland on 40 but this is pretty much it so 20 meters is that the noise down there is what was it around an S2 and S3 something? Hey, I tell you what, this tuner, impedance matcher, call it whatever you want, does a very fine job. I get the SWR on some bands down to the zero on the scale. On 80 meters, I get it below of 1.3. And listen to this. This is actually a 80 to 10 meters tuner. Officially, it doesn't cover the 160 meter band. I don't have the owner's manual anymore, and I try so hard to find the owner's manual and the schematics for this Polestar AT300 Lima Charlie November as a PDF file or something like that on the internet. That's nothing. I was searching my ass off, I swear to God. But on eHamnet, there was a guy talking about that he had an antenna and he matched that impedance on 160 meters, he said, the efficiency of the antenna wasn't that great, but he was able to match the impedance down to whatever. Something that was good enough to make some calls or some CW, whatever. So, yeah, this is what happens if you live in a big city, close to an industry park, and yeah but i don't give up this is just for today i mean you can't do anything against the noise even if i would use rg58 or rg8 coax feed line instead of that antenna wire 1.5 
millimeter diameter, which I'm just, uh, yeah, I've been using it temporarily, you know, just for a plan B or a plan C. The noises are definitely coming from the whole neighborhood around. There is some PLC and some switching supplies and LED and all kinds of stuff. So that's the way it is. But thanks to Kevin one more time, K0KLB in Iowa, for your support and for your help. And also to Fred, Victor Echo 3, Fox Dot Alpha Lima in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and W3 MPG, Uncle Rod. And so many people, they just stopped by and uh, giving me some input. I got the high SWR down to a good to a good point to a good resonant point and that's what it's all about so if the noise level is that high I don't hear much so and I'll doubt it that a lot of people will hear me but hey I'm still not finished with that. I'm trying to work something out. This is actually the typical noise level that I have out in the field after a heavy, heavy rain shower. It is pretty quiet. Normally on 3, 6, 30, there should be the Papa Alpha and Oscar November group. Nope. They're not there. So let me switch to the vertical inside. Let's go on direct. Yeah. Yeah. It stays the same. So tonight the band is really, really noisy. Yeah, I'm sorry, folks. I wish I could make it work somehow. I mean, be able to receive more, more audio, more, you know, Something that makes me happy instead of that high noise level. Yeah, I'm just tired. I'm not I'm not pissy or something like that. Well, you know, it's experimental stuff and and sometimes you win and sometimes you lose and sometimes you're having a good day and sometimes it's <laughs> it's a bad day. <laughs> when shit hits the fan it must be another Manic Monday again. Oh, no, it's already Tuesday morning. With this, I'm saying 73. Everyone have a nice Monday evening or happy Tuesday early afternoon, depending on wherever you may be. 73, your friend Uncle Gunther, waving a hand. Aloha.